Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. Just southeast of Worcester, between Worcester and Hebner, and got a pretty good amount of hail falling here. We're uh, right into the middle of the hail cord now, and you can see that it's coming down hard and heavy. This is Benjamin tracking some severe weather in the River Valley. You can hear that hail coming down. Uh, this was located in the Floor County, very close to the Hevener area, and also Lake Worcester, and just south of Salisaw. Look at this funnel cloud caught by a storm chaser from Oklahoma City, Chance, very well known at KFOR. There you can see that rotating funnel cloud. Did not touch down, and there was also some hail in the west side of Bella Vista. Now, the severe weather did translate eastward. Look at this video from one of our storm spotters who are tracking storms near England, Arkansas. That right there is an elevated funnel. That funnel rotating pretty and tremendously, and it was caused from a rotating supercell. As we put a time lapse on it, look at that storm rotating with the wall cloud underneath. And as it spins faster, you can see that funnel cloud begin to develop. I'm going to show you the whole video because this uh, storm really starts to wrap up and even creates that green thunderstorm as the green thunderstorm hue develops. Incredible video there from James Hilger along with several of our other storm spires. Let's get to some pictures here. And we're going to show you that uh, Benjamin, who is catching the hail, uh, near Worcester and Hebner, Arc Weather Media. Follow him on Twitter. He is uh, definitely very uh, professional with uh, storm chasing and giving all those reports. Look at this picture from Ramey. You got the rainbow, the hail fog, and Han in Scott County. This was a tornadic supercell that was warned a little after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Look, Christian, one of our storm spotters catching the shelf cloud. I'll step out of the way so you can see Terry Domarese's photo from Van Buren. Also, a combo, a shelf cloud on the right side, a wall cloud with a tail cloud in the middle of the picture. That's toward the back edge of the storm. And then there's the hail that piled up in Bella Vista. The hail was rather large in Little Rock. And finally, Wes and Masha Collins in Fort Smith. Always love to see that promise at the end and the rainbow and even a double rainbow at that. Wow, what an active day as thunderstorms ripped across the River Valley. Now in Northwest Arkansas, we didn't have it everywhere. It was not widespread. Rain continues to come down. In fact, this is a flash flood warning that goes until 1.30. But what about Bella Vista? Why did you see the hail and some of you didn't, even though you live in the same place, uh, Bella Vista? This is western Bella Vista that really got that hail storm. You can see it piling up very close to uh, just west of 71. Eastern Bella Vista, Lake Brittany, Bella Vista Lake not receiving quite as much, but the rain did continue to come down in East Bella Vista as well. Total precipitation, you can see well over an inch, especially in McDonald County. That's why that flash flood warning is in effect. Around northwest Arkansas, storms have fizzled out, and honestly, we kind of saw the Fayetteville fizzle around here, which was a good thing. The storms were pretty intense in central Arkansas. Here's what happened just south of Salisaw. I'll put that into motion. There's a supercell that produced that little elevated funnel. And then you had this low pressure system as it was moving in, create these supercells that moved through Scott County. Now that one near Hahn, west of Waldron, was tornado worn. There you can see it moving to the northeast into uh, Logan County. In fact, there were some damage reports. Winfield had seven to eight houses damaged, along with some hail golf ball size. There you can see it in Scott County. Now the storms did translate eastward into central Arkansas. Now they continue to move east. There's severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings in Tennessee. But around here, you have nothing to worry about at all. It is quiet. Rain totals were impressive off to our east Little Rock over an inch. Siloam Springs getting a little more from some of the thunderstorms. You also saw some hail in the Siloam Springs area. Fayetteville, though, only one one hundredth of an inch. I don't know about you, but daylight saving time throwing me off. This clock needs to be whoop, zip forward. It only shows 915, but it's 1015. Right now it is 53 degrees. We're going to be dropping off and the fog is going to be settling in. All because of this intense compact low. Look at the spin on that, almost like an eye of a hurricane that is moving east. And boy, do we have some smooth sailing on your seven-day forecast. You are going to love the weather tomorrow. On your Monday, we're looking for highs in the mid-70s with some fog in the morning. That's going to burn off during the late morning and into the afternoon. 
we are looking at near record highs. Now on Tuesday, we're going to be in the mid 70s. Wednesday, we start dropping off and then our temperatures actually trend downhill with some rain and possibly some thunderstorms on Friday in the mid 50s. And then look at the highs on Saturday, upper 40s. Wait a minute, we're going the wrong way here. <laughs> and even the possibility of a light freeze on Sunday morning. Now, that is seven days out, but it is looking like it is going to get a lot cooler for next weekend. But oh. wow, what incredible video, incredible pictures. Yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of the warning process and giving us all that information on social media. I'm going to catch up on it and respond to it everybody makes as a much difference. as I can. It does. I mean, you guys are the eyes and ears out in the mm -hmm. field along with our storm spotters. So we appreciate everything. All right. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. And